y'all we're playing with vinyl today um and guess what else i'm cussing me some vinyl today i didn't mean to but it just kind of turned out that way all right let me get my little cameras right so y'all can see what i'm doing ah there we go hey girl hey i'm so glad you're here thank you for coming in and visiting and joining we're making something cute today it's a calendar made with Dollar Tree stuff. Yeah, it's fun. Hey, so I'll show you what we're working with. Um, huh, y'all. <laughs> don't ask me why I do this. I don't know. Okay, we're working with this Dollar Tree crate. That's all it is. And guess how much it costs? A dollar. Oh, you know what I didn't do is put me in the corner. Hold on. I don't even know if y'all want me in the corner. Please hold. Boop and boop and boop. It needed an extra boop, y'all. There we go. Okay, so this is a Dollar Tree crate. I mean, it, it's this size is the best size. This one, something keeps sticking to me. It's over here. All right, this is the size you want to get, and it is five by about two and almost two and a quarter. But I mean, if you look for their crates that don't have the holes on the side, um, then You'll, you'll find this one, okay? So we're using this, and y'all, these foam dice from the Dollar Tree, they're a dollar. <laughs> um, oh, hey, Heather, so good to see you. So this crate is from Dollar Tree, and these are from the Dollar Tree. Nobody puts baby in the corner, right? Right. <laughs> but I'm in the corner now. <laughs> okay, hey, Cricket, yay! I'm glad LG's good. Is he home or are you still there? I guess I guess you're still there because that's a long trip home. But anyway, I've been keeping up with it. So these came from Dollar Tree too. Uh, chilling on a houseboat. What? Hey, Hopper, are you chilling on the houseboat too or is that just for Cricket and LG? <laughs> and y'all, these tumbling blocks. Now these, it's like Jenga. But these are so hard to get. I literally have a case on order and have had for three months. And I, I mean, there's who knows? Who knows who has them? Maybe they're stuck in a ship on a ship in the Suez Canal. I don't, y'all, I don't know. I can't swim that far. Okay. So I'll tell you what we did. I sent Ninja Man outside with, I've done a lot of prep on this, y'all. I sent Ninja Man outside with these kind of blocks. They're orange, green, and blue. And I got him to spray paint them. You can see some of the blue coming through there, okay? Because this is one I'm not using. You are on the houseboat. Y'all are so sweet to think of, of Kathy Bow's Craft and Show while on the... Y'all, we're all on the houseboat. Somebody throw me a beer, and I'll, say, I'll tell you why I say beer. Because I said a cuss word earlier. I am really sorry that I did, but I did because um, things didn't go well. Okay. So here's a nice one that he spray painted. And it's funny because this one has like a chalk. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. I painted these. He spray painted these. Silly me. This has like a chalky feeling, but this is slick. So he just spray painted them. Okay. So y'all, we took the this. We glued these little half round um, beads. Okay. They don't have a hole in them for stringing. They're just half rounds. They go around like picture frames or whatever. So I'm putting this here and I'm putting one there. Okay. All right. So then this thing's going to sit like this. So then I took Jenga blocks and I got six out. Cricket. Uh-oh, I say cuss words sometimes. I'm sad at myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, why am I not better than that? But I legitimately cussed at my joy. My joy is a cricket joy and it cuts vinyl. But y'all, I was actually not happy. But I'm I'm good now. I'm over it. Okay, maybe. All right, we'll see. We'll see. If I cuss again, y'all. No, I won't. I'm I'm not. I'm not. I'm okay. Um, but anyway, I've got Jenga blocks that I'm gonna put on the top, and I'm gonna show you the whole thing's painted. I, it's sitting right there, but I don't I don't want to show it to you yet. Jenga blocks like this, and then I'm going to have six Jenga blocks that go between these two, all right? Now, now you know what I'm using. 
let me show you what we're doing. This is the painted one, and this little guy needs to be glued back on. And all I did was paint it. Okay, that's it. All right, so we are, hmm, I should have heated up my hot glue gun. And where do I even keep it? Hold on. Uh, Y'all, I got my whole area so straightened out, I can't find a thing. Y'all, I've been spring cleaning. No, I'm talking about, y'all, I'll be 63 in November. And I, I know I always tell you how old I am, but it's because I'm amazed. I'm still freaking alive. Okay, not really, not really, not, no. I'm thankful, y'all, thankful. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm thrilled I'm not in jail, right? I don't want to go back to jail. Okay, I've never been in jail. Never, y'all. Y'all know that. Okay, so anyway, I got to get my, my glue gun heated back up, and I got to find my little glue sticks. Y'all know I keep them in this little wee, um, glass thing for yogurt. We O U I. We yogurt. And that's where I keep my little itty bitty that burn up so fast it's not even funny. While it's heating up, I want to tell y'all this too. Y'all, I did a speaking engagement. You, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you saw my post. I did a speaking engagement and every table and I was not the main speaker. It's okay. I was just um I was able to give my testimony and first I was able to make them laugh a lot and then I was able to do my testimony. Anyway so these were on the table and they drew names and everybody got, everybody got something, I think. And it's just so pretty, y'all. All they did, they took a ball jar, okay, just the jar, and they painted it all over. Then they took a little sanding tool and they went over the letters, okay? So she just sanded them down a little bit so you could see the design. Hot glued some ribbon around there, which is so pretty, stuck a flower on it and looked. And, of course, there were flowers in it, but um, we'll use those flowers in a future in a future thing because I kept them, y'all. This was the flowers, little baby roses and baby breath, baby's breath. So pretty, and I just couldn't throw them away. And then they gave us, um, all of us who worked the event, um, you know, like like speakers or the organizer. There was four or five of us that got a bouquet that was absolutely gorgeous. But y'all know me and flowers. I think I killed it like its first night here. It's like, please don't send me home with that woman. And it knew its days were limited. All right. So here we go. We're going to make a calendar, a perpetual calendar. Okay. Um, I've already started putting some of the numbers on and I'm just, it's vinyl from this little heathen, Cricket Joy. This is the heathen, y'all. I was going to show y'all how to use it and all that stuff, but but um, we're, we're not friends right now, me and this thing. So, yeah. Um, um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one of the blocks that I've, that I've made like this. I'm going to put this one. Here, I don't want it like tight snug. And of course, really, I should put more there than that. Let's see, because we don't want this to be angled at all, right? So maybe it's a good thing it came off. Okay, there we go. So I'm just I'm just using these three to get the correct spacing for this guy here. Okay. Put some glue, put some glue, put some glue. All right. And my little granddaughter is nine years old now, and she's old enough to use my hot glue gun, y'all. Man, I think, you know, most people put little marks on the wall and when their kids are growing. But my grandlittles, it's what they can do in my craft room. <laughs> right? Okay, so I'll clean that up later. We got a little blob there, but it'll clean up later. Okay, so this is how it looks now. Isn't that just cute as a button? You could do them any color. Nyoka, I have the hardest time using this machine. I just don't use them. Um, yeah, this one today got me. And, like, I was getting ready to sell everything. But then I calmed down, and I'm better. Okay, y'all. So, now, here are the... I don't know if you can see it. Like I said, I was going to show y'all, and I will one day. I, when I have... When I'm not rushed, because I was kind of rushed on this one, 
um, when I'm not rushed, I'll show you exactly how the, the Cricut Joy works and maybe my silhouette and maybe the big Cricut. I don't know. But anyway, this clear paper, let me show you this one because this is one I know I'm using today. This clear paper is transfer paper, transfer tape. All right. It's sticky on one side. You lay it down on your cut vinyl and then you're going to peel the letters off. You see the word September there? And I know it's got, it's got some spaces filled in, but it's okay. So y'all, it's possible this is going to work for me. Okay. Possible. So I'm just going to, this is a very old Cricut Smoother Ruther or whatever they want to call it. I have no idea what it's called. Um, but I'm using this one because it's, it's, it's my, it's my Smoother Ruther. All right. And we're just going to possibly peel up the letters. I'll tell you this, on the Joy, I'm using, went through my smart vinyl that came with my Cricut, and the pressure that the blade had to cut with was, was too strong, okay? Now, I, it's a hot mess, y'all. This is how it's been going. And um, if, if it doesn't go well, you don't have to censor the, the audio. I'm not, I'm not gonna, not gonna do it. I'm just going to say, alrighty then, we're going to shift gears or pivot, right? Pivot. Okay, so I really just want y'all to see one. We don't have to do all of them live, but I'll have a picture on my, on my site. And by the way, I'm so happy, Cricut, that y'all are getting away. That is just awesome. I'm happy for everybody that can get away because it's refreshing, you know? Just so refreshing. And I don't know. It's just like, just step out for a little bit, you know. Um, we had a really, really nice um, thing on Monday. We um, Ninja Man asked me on Saturday what I wanted to do for Mother's Day. He remembered. Anyway. I think he's just old and trying to get into heaven, y'all. But anyway, he did ask. And I said, well, I would like to go to Longhorn because they have Flo's Filet, and that's my favorite um, favorite thing ever. So, y'all, we're getting close, all right? September, October, November, December, okay? But we got, this is called weeding. When you pull the little, the little vinyl away from what you want to keep, it's called weeding. And I'm just going to weed them, just going to weed them. And it looks like they're too dang big for my block, and they are. But we can work on that, too. Um, yeah, so he was like, what do you want? Oh, oh, the big D stayed. Hold on. He was like, what do you want to do for Mother's Day? And I said, I want to go to Longhorn. He goes, okay. I said, but not today because um, I'm just going to stick this D on here. I found it over there. We're just going to put D-E-C even though I, even though, even though I'm, I, I measured, y'all. I measured. Cricket, I'm glad surgery was early. Now we get to enjoy a sunny day on the boat. Just resting, watching TV, watching you. Oh, bless your heart, Cricket. That is awesome. I'm so happy for you. Um, so yeah, so I was like, you know, we've been, me and Ninja Man have been joined at the hip for ever since he retired. So I kind of want some friends to go with us. So I asked him, and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. So I invited some friends, another couple, and they came with because they're retired, too, and I knew they were home. And they came with us, and we all just had, y'all, we had a wonderful lunch at Longhorn. But we didn't go until Monday because I did not want the crowd. And when we uh, got there, I mean, there was there was no way, right, very, very little um very little weight, weight at all. And we, okay, y'all, I'm putting the word, just part of the word on my block because the dang word is too little. I mean, too big. Okay. So there's, there's a little hitchhiker here. I got to get rid of. Um, so the girl was saying they, they had a two, more than a two hour wait. There's December. Boop. They have more than a two-hour wait. And I'm like, I ain't waiting anywhere. Wait, it's an Airbnb? 
The boat is an Airbnb. What? Okay. Okay. Where do I sign, Cricket? Where do I sign? Uh, seriously, Cricket, send me some information. Because I'm all about that. Are, and if you're on Lake Lanier, there's a city underneath, so don't fall in. They lose people all the time. Okay, so there, there is. There's a town um, in Lake on Lake Lanier. There is a town underneath the water because the the um, Army Corps of Engineers needed to make a lake, and so they did. Um, kind of interesting stuff. Kind of like there is. There are two graves underneath. I want to say the Savannah Airport runway. Somebody correct me. Is it Savannah or Atlanta? Quite sure it's Savannah. There are two graves. Yep. Okay, so now we got November. Oh, yeah. We got December on one side, November on the other. Okay. Boop. There we go. Um, yes, it that is crazy cricket. Do send me the information for it. Um, all right. So we we did Mother's Day with my kids on Wednesday night last week and then Ninja Man and I did it together, you know, on Monday with friends. Savannah Airport. Yes, I think it is too. Uh, let's see. September's going to be too big too, so I'm just going to cut off S-E-P-T and O-C-T. I know I'm spelling in front of y'all. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we did that. And it was wonderful, and I don't know what happened to me Sunday on Mother's Day. Well, I kind of do. I kind of do. Um, this was just, I don't know why this year, November, December. Okay, now I need just September and October. This year, for some reason, it it just really, really got to me that my mom wasn't here. I mean, she's been, y'all, she passed away in 2008. Okay. Um, Mayoka, we enjoy our house, but my, right now the river is out of the banks and flooding. <gasps> uh, if you wait long enough, Nyoka, will the houseboat come to you? Okay, that that's not funny. I'm sorry. But no, I hope y'all are okay. You know, I'm just, I'm just goofing. Um, yeah, so I just started missing my mom and I'm like, what is wrong with me? She's been gone since 2008. We rode by a cemetery and... Um, there were all these people out there, you know, at the cemetery and, you know, leaving flowers, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know why we do stuff like that, but we do and it's necessary. But anyway, yeah, they were doing that. Oh, Y'all see the hot mess. Look at that. I know. I know. They were doing that. And I think it just kind of got to me that, you know, my mother was cremated. She's in a vase in my niece's house and it's just not you know there's just nowhere to pay your respects okay I mean I could go to my nieces okay so I'm just going to show y'all so far what we got okay we've got September oh sorry we've got September doesn't that look professional uh Marilyn every mother's day is sad my mother died you know what Marilyn um yes and I'm sorry you lost your mother so young but Here's what I'm going to do to fix it, hopefully. Next year, um, I'm going to make cards and just send them to all the moms, even even just acquaintances. Um, I'm just going to send them to, to my friends, my family members, and acquaintances. And that way, I can make Mother's Day cards, and I can, um, you know, I can honor them. Okay, so you see, when I go to change the month, I just have to flip it over, okay? All right, and I'll keep all of the little, I'll keep all of these little guys. I'm going to put it in November because that's my birthday month. Okay, I'm going to keep all of them in this little thing here, okay? Hopefully, hopefully I've got all of them. Come on now. Oh, here it is. Boop. All right. There we go. That's how it's going to look on the top. And then like that. Okay. So now let's look at these. Let's look at these little guys right here. Um, 
something else you can do with these is stretch balloons over them. Please hold, I'll show you. These are so stinking cute, it's not even funny. Okay, these are, let's see, were the, I think these are the ones I got at Dollar General because I think you want 12 inch balloons, but these work fine. Um, Cricut, I really want to do that next year too. Yes, yes. Um, maybe we should do something, maybe we should do something together when we gather in November and at least plan out, right? Okay, so you would put those um, balloons, the, these, like I said, are 9 inch, but I think you want 12, but these work fine too. It's a struggle, y'all, but you can put these balloons over these dice, okay? You're going to need two balloons at least. All right, and then it's going to have that little thing on the bottom. You cannot use it on your calendar, so to speak, but you could do something cute like a little baby gift that has, you know, especially if it's twins, right? Put two of them in here, and I just painted the face on. Um, and yes, the eyes look perfect because, y'all, to make a dot, you don't just make a dot. You use the end of a pencil, un, uh, uh eraser that's never been used, dip that in your paint and go dip and then re-dip and go dip. Um, do the same for the pencil points and then you can see where I had to draw the mouth on because it's a hot mess, okay? But aren't they cute as a button and you can put little things on, you can put little hats on them, what they, Etsy, you can find hats everywhere to put on these things. They're so cute. Okay, um, Heather, I was going to do that this year since it's first year without mom. I did end up making cards for two friends. They love them. We'll do more next year. Yes. Yes. That's very sweet. And it kind of just, I don't know, it gives a little more purpose. And and yes, I'm a mom, y'all. But my kids are grown and, you know, they went and did their own family stuff. And that's fine. That's fine. And one of them lives four hours away. It's okay. Okay. So now we're going to do the, the block. Okay. So again, this was spray painted and I printed out y'all. I made a note long time ago cause I've been trying to show y'all this for months and I just haven't been able to get it all together. And today it's a hot mess, but I decided we'd do it. So I made a note to cut zero through three and then zero through nine, because you're going to use a zero twice. Okay. Cause you're going to have like the 10th, or you're going to have the first, right? So you need two zeros, two ones, because you're going to have, you know, the 12th or the 11th, okay? And you're going to need two twos and two threes. We haven't put the three on yet because the month goes to 30. So you need zero, one, two, and three. You need to, you need to do twice. All right, so let's put three on here. John P. John. Yeah. Your thing's going off. His stove is going off, y'all, and he doesn't wear his hearing aids, and he's got a um, he's got a um headphones on his on his head. That's where you keep them, right? And he can't hear, and it's going off. He's making brownies. Raise your hand if you're diabetic. Mm-hmm. Raise your hand if you've said, you know what, it's kind of like alcohol. When alcoholics get around booze, they need it. That's how I am with brownies and cake. And, um, yeah, so he's making brownies. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. He bought three boxes of them for the grandkids that aren't here. Okay. So, yeah. Oh. Here we go. I'm picking up the three, maybe. Maybe not. Here we go. Here we go. Get up there. Get up there. Y'all, the cricket and the joy, I'm telling you, when it's going, when when I'm not trying to figure something out on it, it is like worth its weight in gold. But I get a little bit testy with it because I really value my crafting time, but that's okay. So I picked up the three. All right. We're just going to center it on here and do like this, all right? And I, I think today's the 14th, is it? 
So we're going to need a four to really show you how this is going to go. All right, so we've got zero, one, two, three. I'm going to put four and five here. Do I have a four? Yeah, there. I'm about to say, I don't even have a four, y'all, but I do. I'm using the same, um, the same transfer tape here to pick up the four. Oh, and y'all, so Sunday when I got home, I don't know what was wrong with me except the whole, all I can think of is it had to be mom. But y'all, came home from church and I literally, I literally got in my recliner and I did not move except to go potty. That was it. John even brought me my food and, and whatever drinks I wanted. I mean, I was, I said, I kept telling him, I said, it's not you. It's me, but I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And I was, and I, I just, I didn't cry. I wasn't, you know, um, it is a 13th. Thank you, Heather. Um, Nyoka, my husband has selected, yes, cricket, wearing my hearing aid every day, almost all day. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Um, I have some now too, cricket. Um, Heather, sometimes it's easier to reverse weed my vinyl. So it's easier to cut. Oh yeah, I agree. Um, Nyoka the 13th. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So we'll we'll make it say the 13th when we get ready. But it's not going to say May because I haven't cut. I don't know. I don't think I've cut. Yeah, I've cut it, but I'm, I don't think I can put it on there. But y'all, something was just, you know, something was just in the air for me. And, and I thought, you know what? Ain't doing it. And I didn't. I didn't do it all day. I didn't. There we go. Here's a four. Y'all, I'm loving how how clean these look. You know, they just they just look really good. All right, we're going for our five now. I don't know how much of this I can take. I mean, <laughs> I can take it, y'all. I can. So that was Sunday. And on Monday, it's like somebody shot my tail out of a cannon, y'all. I got up. I started cleaning my bedroom like I'm not talking about just putting clothes in a hamper because we always do that. But I'm talking about some serious spring cleaning. Like, like I didn't even know I owned that, finding the, that kind of stuff, right? Got my bedroom so nice. I'm not done yet because I worked Monday and Tuesday. Um, moved furniture out, did all the stuff up under it, um, under the furniture. And y'all. I asked Ninja Man, I said, can you come give me an idea about if we want to put this set of dressers, drawers here or there? And then he cleaned out his whole side of the closet, y'all. His whole side. I was like, score, right? And yeah, because it, I guess it was just motivating to see somebody else working, you know? I don't know. I don't know. So did that on Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday, we had some errands and stuff to run. We do today also. But anyway, we're waiting to go uh, probably about 2 o'clock. But anyway, we um, I'll tell you about that too. Uh, yesterday, y'all scrubbed my bathroom like <laughs> I almost said like the president was coming. No more comment on that. But let me just say. I probably wouldn't have scrubbed it, but anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, but I did, y'all, hands and knees kind of cleaning, right? You know, I just realized my six could also be a nine, couldn't it? It could. Hmm. And yet, I cut a nine, but it's okay. Um, Six, now we need seven. Oh, dear. And then we're going to need another one that has eight and nine. I think, I don't know, more zeros too. I don't know. Where do we keep those? There's not a place. So we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Um, let's see, seven. How come it works out that way, y'all? Oh, no, I don't know. Anyway, so that bathroom, y'all, is shining like a new penny. Yes, like a white tornado. Um, yes, and it looks so good in there. 
y'all, I even Cloroxed, you know, the little brush that's always gross. I Cloroxed it. Like everything got a, got a redo. And I told Ninja Man, I said, you know what? I'm not finished. And I said, that porch needs painting. <laughs> and I think his eyes just fogged up a little bit. And I said, mm-hmm, that porch needs it some painting. So, y'all, this vinyl, it's a shiny vinyl, and it's adhesive on one side. And, um, yeah, and that's probably the most I need to tell you about. But anyway, so now, y'all, we're, we're going to our son's house at the end of the month so that they can go off for their birthdays, and we're going to keep the kid, the kids... They have, um, their birthdays are close together, and they always try and do something super special. And, um, you know, her mom couldn't come, so they asked, well, basically, they didn't even have to ask. They just, uh, my son just said, you know, they wanted to go off, and they couldn't, because it, her mom's not coming. I said, hello, we'll be there. So off we go. And... Cricket. Um, oh, hey, hey, Courtney. Wait till you see what we're making. I think you only need one zero. Did you do two? Yes, I did two because um, if it's the first of the month, I need the O one one to be, you know, first through the ninth, right? Um, if you use one zero and only put it with four or higher. Huh. So... Three, four, five. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Seven. All right. We got the seventh on here. Uh, one, two, three. Where's seven, eight, nine? Where's eight, nine? I. Pretty sure I cut it. Oh well. Okay. I don't. See. Oh, is it over here? Hold on. Nope. Those are the months. Okay. I'm not even gonna try those months because it's going to be a little tedious. But y'all, here we go. Here's our, our thing where I cut all the numbers out. And you could, this is this is what Heather was talking about. Um, oh, Courtney, I'll show you what it is just a sec. What Heather was talking about reverse weeding. Typically, I put a box around my design so that none of this is, is involved. And reverse weeding is where you pull the the this part off and you're left with the numbers and that's that's pretty cool that's that works really well all right so y'all i'm going to show you the finished project and i'll go over the supplies again real quick but this is a perpetual calendar from uh the the items are from dollar tree you can color it, you can paint it any color you want and somebody said today's the 13th right and it's not November, I know, but I haven't done the um I haven't done May yet. So there you go. All right. How cute is that? And um we used, I'll show you everything we used. Again, we used the foam dice and uh Ninja Man spray painted them for me. I'll see what other numbers I need and I'll stick them on there. Thank you, Courtney. Isn't it cute as a button? It's just it's just sweet. I mean, I'm not gonna lay it down, so that's why the little I'm not going to show it laid down all the time, right? Um, that's why the little things just fell out, because they're not designed to... Okay, there we go. I'm going to leave it just like that. And we used the foam dice, spray painted them probably twice. Um, the ones that I painted with a paintbrush are chalky feeling, and you can see the dice through them, but the spray paint, not so much. And we used these... Um, Tumbling Tower game, it's uh, Jenga blocks actually, and that's these guys that all I did was paint those and put the vinyl on them, and um, I showed I showed y'all how you could you could take these blocks and put balloons on them and put a little face on them. That's too cute, and the little hat. Okay, I've got um, uh, you know the the ceramic things that I showed y'all a picture of ages ago. Um, These are the cute little mugs. They're called marshmallow mugs. Found them on Amazon. And you can find on Etsy 
people that make little hats for them, and they're so cute in your three-tiered tray. I just love mine. Nyoka, y'all, I just have to say that I got my stamp order yesterday. Cannot praise the hand pen set. Gorgeous. I'm going to play today. Yay! It is one of the most beautiful sets I've ever seen. Hand pinned, y'all. It is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Um, and it's it's my go-to set right now. But I'm so glad it came in, Nyoka. That is awesome. Um, anyway, so you can paint on the balloons. If you, you know, if you want to stretch the balloons over them, you can do that. Um, let them fall on the floor one time. They're stuck with all kinds of uh, dander and dust and heaven only knows what else and completely unusable. So <laughs> that's the balloon ones. These, you can do whatever. So y'all, I mean, this has been in the works for a long time. Oh, and then the side things, they're just uh, beads that are flat on one side. And... um. There you go. So I got another project that's been sitting out for several weeks that um, it's actually on my calendar to have done in April. Um, Heather, Nyoka, me too, getting another order today. Then it is playtime. Yay! Mine should be here. It says tomorrow, y'all, my Stampin' Up! order. But, um, but it always comes a day early. So I'm kind of thinking it might come today. Mine always comes a day early than what Stampin' Up! says. Um, anyway, I hope y'all liked our project today. It's so much fun crafting with y'all. I enjoy it so much. Um, it's just great. And Christine, uh, Cricket, I will be looking for you to send me something on that boat, girlfriend, because I'm, I want to get on it. All right. So love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. And that was a, that was a short, uh, thing today. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a, a booth, I'll tell you this real quick, I'm going to have a booth at a vendor event uh, in July, and I'm going to carry a lot of the Dollar Tree crafts to sell, so if y'all see something you want, get in touch with me and let me know first, because I want y'all to have first dibs, okay? All right, so God bless y'all, have fun, have a beautiful day, and I pray because of, because of my ugly word before I got on today over my little cricket joy problem. I pray that I will honor and glorify God with everything I think and say and do. All right. Love y'all. God bless. Toodles.